Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning, AI and Large Language Model Tutorials. Recently I created a number of tutorials explaining how to install and run locally distilled versions of DeepSeq R1. These tutorials received a very positive feedback from my viewers, however, the main question was how to run distilled versions of DeepSeq in the graphics user interface locally. Namely, I was using Olama to download the model and then I was running the models from a terminal. Generally speaking, running a model in a Windows terminal is a good first step for testing the model because you don't need to spend a lot of time developing a graphics user interface and you can test will the model work on your hardware. However, if you would like to use the model, you would like to use a model in a graphics user interface. To do that, there are several strategies. You can develop your own graphics user interface, for example, using Streamlit or you can use some other graphics user interfaces such as for example web ui and in this video tutorial i will explain how to use and run deepseq r1 by using web ui notice over here that you will still run the model locally and the graphics user interface for interacting with the model will appear in your web browser over here, you can see the web UI graphics user interface. You can see where it's running. It's running on a local host that is on your computer. And currently for illustration, I'm running DeepSeq R17B. So let's ask a question, how to solve a quadratic equation and let's specify it. And you will see several advantages of running the model in this graphics user interface and let's press enter and now you can see the model is thinking and generating the response meanwhile over here you can see my usage of my gpu and you can see immediately the response notice over here that the response is generated by using latex that is the equations are written nicely in this video tutorial i will teach you how to install the model and how to run it in the graphics user interface generated by web UI. Okay, let's start. The first step is to download and install Olama. For that purpose, go to the olama.com website, then click on download, select your operating system, click on download for Windows and download the installation file. I will save it in my downloads folder. The download process should be relatively quick. It might take even 5 to 10 seconds to download everything. Good. The next step is to install Olama. So let's wait, double click here, and Olama will be automatically installed. Let's now wait for a while until the program starts. Click on install, and you can see where the files are being extracted. Consequently, be patient. It's going to take maybe 30 seconds to install Olama. The next step is to verify the installation. The next step is to verify the installation of Olama. There are several ways to do that. First of all, click here and you should see this cute small icon representing Llama. Click here and you will see view logs and quit Olama. Another way is to type this address in the address bar, localhost, with this number and press enter. If Olama is properly installed, you will get this message. And the third approach that you should check is to open a terminal or a command prompt. And in the command prompt, type Olama. And if you see the response, this means that the Olama is properly installed on your system and you can continue. The next step is to download the distilled DeepSeq models. For that purpose, go to the Olama website and search for DeepSeq. And let's search DeepSeq R1. Note over here that these are the distilled models. That is, these are the compressed model of the original DeepSeq. Some performance is being lost. However, the models are significantly compressed. And if you click here, you can see the different options you have. 
you have a smaller model of 1.5 billion parameters which is more suitable for Raspberry Pi then you have this model this model this model and this model I was able to successfully run the model up to 70 B parameters on my GPU my GPU is Nvidia 3090 with 24 gigabyte of VRAM. In this video tutorial, I will select this model just for speed. However, you can also try some other models. So I will click on this model and this command for installing the model is generated. Now, what I will do, I will copy this command. I will go to command prompt. However, I'm not going to immediately execute this command. Instead, I will paste it and instead of run, I will type pull. That is, by changing run to pool, I will just download the model. I will not run it. And if you press enter, the model download process will start. And then after some time, you will see the success message. This means that you have successfully downloaded the model. Next, let's see the model. You need to type this and here is the model. Now let's copy the model name and let's try to run it in order to test it. So type Olama run and the name of the model and wait for a while for the model to be loaded. And let's ask a question, who are you? And let's see, good, this is our DeepSeq R1 model. Do control C or actually control D to exit the model and let's continue. The next step is to create a workspace folder to create a Python virtual environment and to install web UI. On the web UI, it's written that you need to have Python 3.11 to install and run web UI. However, we were able to run web UI on Python version 3.12. So my suggestion is to try with Python 3.11 if you have it on your system and go with that option. However, you can do the same thing as I'm doing. If you have Python version 3.12, should work without problems. Now, I'm not sure about Python version 3.13 since I know that there are some issues with CUDA on Python version 3.13. Not only issues with CUDA, could actually the issues of installing PyTorch on Python version 3.13. 13. Consequently, either stick to 3.11 or 3.12. To check your Python version, try first to type this and you should see the Python executable. And you can also type Python version and you can see my current Python version. Good. So let's create our workspace folder. For that purpose, go to the C drive, then type make directory test web UI oops here I have it already so I will make it I will make another one let me do this I'll make it I will call it like this then I will navigate it to the second one and inside of this folder I'm going to create a Python virtual environment to create a Python virtual environment you need to execute this command and this command creates a Python virtual environment called environment one. The next step is to activate this Python virtual environment. You can activate it like this. And now you can see over here that the Python virtual environment is activated. The next step is to install web UI. To install web UI, you just need to run this command. Note that first time you're trying to install web UI by using this command, it might take a while to download and install everything. Consequently, be patient. And here it is. So this will take a while. So be patient. It's already several minutes and the installation is still running and that's perfectly normal since you can see the packages that you're installing. You're probably installing hundred or more packages so consequently be patient there is also an option to run the pip install command with verb in the verb verbose mode and in that way you can see the actual installation progress however be patient it's perfectly fine if it takes some time to install maybe even five minutes and after some time i think approximately five to six minutes 
everything is completed and we need to run the last command and here it is so execute this command in the terminal and this command will actually install additional things and it will start web ui so over here just ignore if you see some warnings or something like that and wait until everything is being built and after some time you will be able to start okay so once you see this message uvicorn running on this address don't click over here instead you need to click over here copy this address and then you can go to your web browser let me just do it like this and over here in your web browser you will start web ui then click here over here you need to enter your name your email and password note over here that you're not registering the account online you're registering the account on your local computer this is done in the case if you have several users using for example llm so i will enter my name a alex enter your email address it really doesn't matter you can enter some even fake email if you want and enter your password so let me enter some password and create admin account here it is here you can see something else over here what's happening and you can read there's some updates there are a bunch of th things that are done and click close and here it is now over here if you click you can select your model currently there is only one model over here and another model which i didn't install this is the original model so click here and you can ask a question how let me see who are you now first time you run it might take a while to generate a response no it was very quick but if it's a larger model it's going to take some time to generate the response since the model will be loaded so let's ask a question can you solve a quadratic equation oops i'm making it spelling errors deliberately for the model to confuse the model a little bit okay let's give him with the complex pose and let's see okay so probably here the model is actually loading or being loaded and no it's not perfect and here it is perfect here's the response and over here you can have more control about what's happening you can start a new chat you can go do an overview artifacts download copy and everything so here it is this is a complete copy of basically chat gtp and you can run it on your local computer okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial